cover graphs and order diagrams. When you have a poset, you can associate with this a, just an ordinary graph, a graph just like we have studied in the last chapter. The vertices of the graph are the points or the elements of the poset. And when you have distinct points, they're adjacent in G when one of them covers the other. But I, I want to emphasize, it is a graph, so it doesn't have any directions, it doesn't have any concept of order. Now, you can draw this graph, you can draw this cover graph many ways, but if you draw it in a particular way, it becomes what is called an order diagram. So if you draw the cover graph of the poset in the plane, and as I write traditionally with straight line segments for edges, it's called an order diagram, and if you look at some of the old, old books, you'll see Hasse diagram. It's called an order diagram if it satisfies this gravity condition that y is higher in the plane. Now, higher in the plane, you know, the, the plane comes with your traditional Cartesian coordinate system. You have a horizontal axis and you have a vertical axis. So the requirement is that y is higher in the plane than x whenever y covers x. All right, let's take some instance. On the left, I show an order diagram of a poset. On the right, I show the same graph, but drawn in such a way that there is no re restriction on height. So look at the picture on the left and listen to this sentence. Is our question, is A covered by E? Yes or no? Yes. Is A covered by E? I see some heads beginning to nod. Everybody is agreeing that the answer is yes. Is A less than F? Is A less than F? You're supposed to be nodding your head, yes. Is A covered by F? Now you're supposed to say no. Does C cover B? Yes. Is C less than F? Is C less than F? I see many heads going like this, but all the heads should be going like this. No. C is not less than F. C is not less than F. What does it mean when you're given an order diagram of a post set for one point to be less than another. Watch me. Here's x and here's y. If x is going to be less than y, the y has to be higher. But that's not all you need. You have to be able to get from x to y by walking up the diagram. Because this point has to be less than this one, but it's a cover. And this one is covered by that one, and this one is covered by that one, and this one is covered by that one, and you have to be able to walk all the way up to the Y. And you can see you cannot do that for C and F. In order to get from C to F, you have to turn around and go backwards. A is less than F. B is less than F. But C is not less than F. Begin to get the feel for the diagram? Question in. So does it depend on how the graph is drawn? How the order diagram is drawn? You betcha. Absolutely depends on it. So uh, let me repeat her question. She says, does it depend on how the diagram is drawn? It absolutely depends on it. All right, I want to show you, I'm going to come back to your question 
in 30 seconds, but I, I want to, since you, most of you are computer science students, I want you to say, look, post sets are everywhere. You pick up a Unix file system, you're looking at a post set. You got a root directory, and you got these things right above the root directory, bin, mount, user, home, there's more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and then underneath that, there's one. If you, if you do an LS on bin, you'll see about 150 programs right above bin. And above user, you've got sbin, and there's tons in there. Uh, in my home directory, I got a, a, a directory called DB Tech, which is an abbreviation for Dropbox Tech. That's where I put all my, my technical papers. I got many, many more files than that, of course. Now, some of you might be saying, well, these aren't really post sets, these are trees. What happens to a tree when you put in a link? When you put in a link, you take two locations in your file system and you make them essentially the same. Not exactly, but essentially. Once you put links into a file system, you have a post set. End of the story. They're everywhere.